Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Vernon Dixon and this is Homes by Dixon. Today, I wanna share a video with you on why I think the market will not be crashing like it did in 2008. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, the market's going crazy. The house prices are skyrocketing. This can't last forever. The market's gonna crash. We're gonna wait to buy when it crashes. Well, I'm here to tell you, you might be sitting on the sidelines a little bit longer than you might expect, and I'm gonna tell you why. See, to understand the biggest differences between now and 2008, we have to understand a few differentiating factors. The biggest factor is mortgage loans. In the years leading up to 2008, lenders loosened up their guidelines a ton and introduced a lot of new products onto the market, including 80-20 loans, ARM loans, Ninja loans, and NEG-AM loans. I'll briefly touch on these. So an 80-20 loan is basically two loans on your property equaling 100%. So an 80% first loan and a 20% second loan. Great when you don't have any money to put down on the home, but also the negative is you enter the home with no equity. The second one is an ARM loan or an adjustable rate mortgage loan. They were attractive to a lot of buyers because they start you off at a very low interest rate, but then they would jump after their adjustable rate periods to a much higher interest rate. So you can start off at a 4%, but after year three, it can jump up to whatever the market is, which was typically at that time around 7%. Now a Ninja loan was an insane loan program. It basically means no income, no job, no asset. You didn't have to verify anything and all, you could put almost anything on paper and the bank would pretty much approve it. And one of the biggest products was a NEG AM loan, which means that your payment of let's say $2,000, you can actually choose a lower payment, let's say $1,000, and that difference would be tacked on to the end of your mortgage. So every month you would pay a thousand bucks, but every month the extra thousand bucks would be tacked on to the end of your mortgage. So your mortgage balance would continue to rise even though you're making that $1,000 payment. Now a lot of these loans are no longer onto the market and are considered predatory and actually illegal. So that's the biggest difference between then and now. Most people now are getting 30 year fixed mortgages, which means their payment is gonna stay exactly the same as long as they keep their house and keep their mortgage. So now that loans are different, what's the other biggest factor? The second one is supply. In 2008, we had a flood of inventory or supply hit the market, but why? Well, let me paint a picture for you. Basically think about this. Remember that Ninja loan, that no income, no job, no asset. You didn't have to supply any information to the bank to get a loan. Well, a lot of people got those and they bought their first house and it was so easy, might as well buy a second house. And hey, I saw HD, HGTV flip these houses, might as well buy a third and a fourth one as well. But not only were they maybe no income, no asset, no job, but they were also in an arm or an adjustable rate mortgage. So they had low interest rates to begin with that then turned into higher interest rates. So basically their low payments then ballooned and spiked up and they basically couldn't afford their fourth house, their third house, their second house, and then even their primary home. So they had to sell all of them. So when millions of people were in this situation and had to unload all of their homes onto the market, we had a surplus. The difference now is we don't have that surplus. We actually have a very low supply of homes. Now, I'm not saying there are other factors out there that won't make a market change. It won't slow down the market. I think interest rates uh, rising will maybe slow down the market a little bit but it's not gonna be the same as 2008. With people locked into 30 year rates with a lot of equity in their home and supply being as low as it is right now, I just don't see the market slowing down or crashing anytime soon. Now I've said this in other videos, I have no crystal ball, I do not know what the future holds, but I do know that supply is low, demand is high, and whatever happens in the market, I know things can't go up forever, but do I foresee a 2008 crash again? The answer is no. Thanks so much for checking this out. My name is Werner Dixon. Please follow me on all social media accounts. And if you have any questions about your scenario, please feel free to reach out 858-847-5500. Thanks so much for watching.